What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released iOS 13.4 beta 1 today, a little over a week after the public release of iOS 13.3.1. So of course, in this video, we're gonna be going over what's new in this update. There are some new features and changes. We're gonna go over the performance, the battery life, and if you should update or not. And of course, we're also gonna talk about some of the existing bugs on 13.3.1 and see if those have been fixed in this update. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So you can see here, First of all, this update was pretty large, abnormally large. So over four gigabytes here on my iPhone 11 Pro, which did come from the public release iOS 13.3.1. Now that size, of course, will vary depending on your device and what version you're coming from. On my iPad Pro right here, this size was closer to three gigabytes. So it will vary greatly. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for 13.4 beta one. So settings general about. You can see there the build is 17E5223H. So we do have an H at the end there. And then scrolling down a little bit further to the modem firmware update, we went from 1.04.06 on 13.3.1 to 1.05.23. So a nice big update there on the modem firmware, which should help with connectivity issues. So now let's talk about the new changes and features found in iOS 13.4 beta one and the first one is a pretty big one and that is iCloud folder sharing is finally here. So if we go into our files application, we can now share our folders, whereas before you could not. So basically before in iOS 13.3.1 and every previous version of iOS 13, if you went to a folder and you wanted to share it, the share icon down here would be grayed out and you would not be able to share it at all. Whereas with individual files, you would have no problem sharing it. So now in 13.4 beta one, if you go to a folder and select it, you can see here the share icon is no longer grayed out. You're actually able to share it and add people to this folder. And basically the whole function of this feature is add people right here. So basically now what you can do is you can share this folder with friends. And that means that anybody that you share this folder with is gonna be able to see the contents in that folder as it's changed in real time. And they can also add and edit files in this folder. So this definitely makes iCloud Drive and the files application much more of a competitor to Dropbox now. So a lot of people are probably gonna start dropping Dropbox uh, for the files app now that we have iCloud folder sharing finally. So this of course was a very big feature that was anticipated for a long time now, going back to last year when Apple announced this. So it's good to see Apple finally adding it in 13.4. Definitely a lot more delayed than people would have liked, but I'm glad that it's finally here and hopefully it stays here for the final release of 13.4. I would expect it to, but we've seen it before where things are in betas and then they get removed before the final version. We also have some new Memoji stickers here in this latest update. You can see here 13.4 on the right, 13.3.1 here on the left. You can see we do have a good bit of new Memoji stickers. We have one on the laptop right there. You know, we have one praying the hand to the side, the X is right here. Those are all new here in this latest update, all of these as well. So pretty nice if you do use Memoji stickers. Now the next change is more of a bug fix, but basically in iOS 13.3 and 13.3.1, Siri stopped processing Apple Music requests for some reason, but now in 13.4 beta one, that has been fixed. So let me show you what I mean. Play Kevin Gates. And you can see here on 13.3.1, she would just keep saying I'm on it or I can't process the request and it would never play anything from Apple Music. Now, I don't know if this is just me. I've seen numerous other people report this, so I know it's not me actually, but I'm not sure if this is super widespread or not. So if you were having this issue, I can confirm now that it has been fixed in this latest update. Now, Apple also included this in the release notes as a new change. So it says, when an app requests always authorization for the first time after having previously been authorized for while using the app, the device immediately presents the location authorization prompt. Now also on iPad OS, we have an exclusive change here. We now have new keyboard shortcuts in the photos application, and this allows you to quickly navigate between tabs, search and create albums. And when you go to full screen mode, you can also delete, duplicate and enter edit mode using a keyboard. Now I would show you guys this if I did have an external keyboard for my iPad, but unfortunately I do not, but Apple did list this in the release notes as a new change. Now another new change that has to do with iOS is that universal purchases for Mac and iOS apps was also added in the latest Mac OS beta. So this is big because it essentially means that you won't have to purchase the same application twice. So before, if you would buy an app on your iPhone, then you went to your Mac, 
it would not you know pick up that you already bought that before on your iphone so now we do have universal purchases which is really nice and long overdue so now it appears that we have a little bit of a different bar down here inside of the mail application so when you go into an email you can see here this is 13.3.1 we just had these two icons right here 13.4 beta 1 we have these icons right here so i feel like i've seen this before but it seems like something is a little bit different here with this we have the icloud right there we have flag we have our action button so we can reply flag and things like that then we have the delete right there in the far left so that appears to be new here in 13.4 compared to 13.3.1 and speaking of the mail application it's a little bit too early to tell if all the bugs have been fixed but one bug that i've seen people report from 13.3.1 is that they had to open up their mail application to download their messages to actually you know retrieve their emails and they would have push and fetch on but for some reason they would have to go into the mail application to actually see their new email so i did not have that bug if you did try out 13.4 beta 1 if it's important enough to you and let me know if it's been fixed of course i will also be telling you guys if it has been fixed in my follow-up video coming later this week now another bug that it's too early to tell if it's been fixed yet is the text message notification bug so basically when you went to the lock screen and you would get a text message your phone wouldn't light up you wouldn't get vibrate you wouldn't hear a sound nothing your phone wouldn't even light up from the lock screen if you got a text message and that's not including an apple watch and did not have my apple watch on so it was not sending that notification anywhere i don't know if that's been fixed yet i will be testing that again and letting you guys know in my follow-up video if that has finally been fixed and i really hope so because i've been facing this issue for a while now now we also have dark mode in the google translate application now and this is not specific to 13.4 but the update for google translate did just come out and it introduces this dark mode so it does go by the system as well so when you turn your system to light mode and to dark mode you can see it changes accordingly so that's really nice for those of you who use the google translate application now when it comes to the performance that h and the build number should be good news but it's still too early to tell if there's a difference compared to 13.3.1 now since this is a big point update there is a possibility that we could see performance improvements across the board for all devices including the ipad but once again it's too early to tell it does seem nice and fluid right now but of course i've only had this installed for under an hour so it's too early to tell and i will let you guys know if performance has been improved at all in my follow-up video coming out later on this weekend but on the flip side when it comes to the battery life i would not expect battery life to be improved here with 13.4 beta 1 especially if you came from 13.3.1 since 13.3.1 had such great battery life now if you're coming from a version before 13.3 3.1 then you may see a bump in battery life just since that last public update was so good for battery life but i would not expect any kind of major improvements for battery life if you are coming from the latest public release and as far as any other ipad os specific features and changes in this update i've not found anything new that's exclusive to the ipad versus ios but i will be testing that out throughout the week and i will let you guys know if there is anything new that i come across in my follow-up video coming this weekend so now should you update to ios 13.4 beta 1 there's a lot of new features and changes a lot of bug fixes a lot of good things about this update but should you update and if you're on ios 13.3.1 i say no not yet wait for at least beta 2 or beta 3 so that myself and others can uncover what's good and what's bad with this update especially when it pertains to performance and battery life ios 13.3.1 one is super stable and has really good battery life and there's no point in really risking that you know with a beta one software like 13.4 beta one now unless you're on you know not your daily device if you have just a spare device sitting around then sure there's no point in not updating to the latest firmware but if you use your device every day and you rely on it i would not update just yet until at least beta 2 so we can uncover if there's any major bugs or anything like that so yeah guys that's pretty much it for ios 13.4 beta 1 again the big new feature here in this update is going to be icloud folder sharing and you can see here you can just go ahead and add people to this and you can collaborate with others and i can see all the changes in real time again very competitive to dropbox very similar to dropbox so anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you found anything else new in this update let me know down in the comment below let me know also if you updated or not or what version you're on and how the battery life and performance is and if you guys did enjoy this video like always i would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and of course stay tuned for my follow-up video make sure you guys are subscribed with that bell icon clicked so you don't miss any of my future ios updates and that follow-up update but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon